So I wanted to test out the new IoT board from Arduino using Arduino Cloud. And I was thinking like, which project will be the best one to test its full capability and yet should be very useful. So the first thought came in my mind was our all time favorite all in one home automation project, which we previously made using ESP32 board. And now let's see if we can make the exact same project with all the features using Arduino Nano ESP32 board or not. Well, this is going to be really very interesting as well. Making this project, we'll be learning how to configure this board with Arduino Cloud, how to send the sensors data to the cloud, how to control the appliances connected with the Nano board using Arduino Cloud and a lot of other things. So let's quickly start with this video. So now to make this project, we'll need these components whose list you can find in the description of this video. And now you need to connect them all according to the schematic diagram. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I already made this project previously using the ESP2 development board. And for that, I already made the custom PCB design and got it manufactured from JLC PCB. So now for all those who don't know about this company, then JLC PCB is a leading company in PCB manufacturing and you can get the PCBs for as low as $2. And the order process is pretty simple. You just need to upload the PCB Gerber file, select the color masking and just place your order. Within a couple of days, you'll be getting those amazing PCBs delivered at your doorstep. Now, along with the PCB, GLC PCB also helps you with the 3D printing and SMT assembly services. I'll be leaving away the link of all the services down in the description of this video, so do check them out. So after receiving the PCBs, we started shouldering all the components on it. So now as this PCB was made according to ESP32 board, we made a separate extension board for our Arduino Nano ESP32 board on a general purpose PCB to match the pinouts completely. And now for the regulator and the sensors part, we shouldered them with the JST connectors so that we can easily insert them in our main PCB board. And with this, we come to the end of the hardware part. And by the way, we are selling this complete hardware through our website techiesms.com whose link you can find in the description of this video. So that was all about the hardware part. And now let us jump on to the Arduino Cloud for configurations. So now to configure the Arduino Cloud, you need to open your Google Chrome and here just type out cloud.arduino.cc. So after landing on page, you need to create your account and sign into your account. And for that, you just need to click on the sign in option. Now, as I already created my account, I will quickly click on the sign in button and I am in my account. Now I'll click on this icon and go to IoT Cloud. Now here, let's click on create thing. And first, let's just associate a new device. So click on select device and uh, set up a new device. Now this time we are using the Arduino Nano board. So it's a board from Arduino only. So click here. And uh, make sure you have connected this Arduino Nano board with your computer and also make sure you have the Arduino Create Agent uh, already installed and running in your computer, okay? Otherwise, it won't be able to recognize this board, okay? In my case, the Arduino Create Agent was running and it successfully recognized the board as Arduino Nano ESP32. So click on the configure button and now we need to give the, uh, this device a name. I'll name it as my device and click on the next button. Now it will generate the device ID and a secret uh, key for your board, which you need to save it in your computer because you won't be getting this device later, uh, this credentials later on. Okay. So I quickly copy this and paste it in my computer. After doing that, I click on this icon and click on the continue button and we are done with adding and associating a new device. After doing that, you need to provide the network credentials and for that click on the configure button. Uh, now give the SID name and password of your Wi-Fi router to make this device talk to internet. And then you need to provide the secret key, which you have just copied. Okay. After doing that, click on the save button and we are done with the configuration of network part as well. And now we are good to go to add the variable. So click on add variable here. Now in this project, we are using four relays to control four lights, one fan speed control and two uh, sensors data, one for temperature and other for humidity. So we need to add in total seven widgets. Okay. So let's just try to add all of them one by one. So first will be the relay one. I will select the variable as uh, light. Okay. Click on add variable. And similarly, I will add other four real, uh, other three relays as well. Great. After adding four relays, now it's time to add the fan. So I'll name it as fan here, select the variable type as fan. So fan is not there. So we'll add a variable called as dimmed light. This is also work. Click on add variable. And now let's just quickly add the temperature and humidity variable. 
So with this, we have successfully added all the variables. And if I go to the sketch uh, section, it already prepared a basic sketch that has all the variables already declared, a setup and loop part already prepared. And we just need to add a logic to make this project work. Okay. So we won't be writing this code here, rather we'll be opening up the Arduino ID and write all the complex logics, codes and adding the libraries uh, in the Arduino ID. But before that, let's first complete the Arduino ID to cloud a dashboard configuration as well. So I'll click on the dashboard uh, button and here let's just create a new dashboard. I'll name this dashboard as uh, home automation and click on the add button. I'll add this switch. Okay. Uh, it will be for relay one and I will link it with the variable called as relay one. That's it. Click on the done button. And similarly, let's just add other three buttons as well. Great. Now for the fan, I'll click on the add button and I'll select this uh, dim light widget, change its name to fan and I'll link the variable fan. And now for the temperature and humidity data, we will be adding gauge widget. This is for temperature and one more for humidity. So yeah, with this, we have successfully configured the Arduino IoT cloud. And now let us move on to Arduino ID and write the code for this project. Okay, so here is the code for our Arduino Nano board to control all those appliances with the help of manual switches, IR remote and Arduino IoT cloud. It will work with internet and without internet as well. Okay, so what a major change we did here as compared to the code used in ESP32 board is first of all, we changed the pin out. So what we did is we use the digital pin for all the relays like this four digital pins used for four relays and this three digital pins are used for uh, fan speed control and also the digital pins are utilized for the sensors like the IR sensor and the DHT11 sensor and we used all the analog pins for taking the input maybe the input of a fan switch or fan regulator or input for uh, the switches of the appliances okay so that's the major change that we did here other than that the code is almost exactly the same as that of we used for ESP32 board so that's the great part like previously if you have made any code for ESP32 board you can shift that code to your Arduino Nano ESP32 board as well by just changing the pinouts. Even the libraries like the IR remote and the ACE button, both the libraries were completely supported with this board, okay? So now to make sure uh, this code compiles in your Arduino ID, uh, you need to have this IR remote.h and ACE button library installed with this particular version. Not only that, you also need to have the Arduino IoT cloud library installed into your Arduino ID. So if you have all that thing installed, the code will get easily compiled in your computer. Now, uh, the Arduino secret dot h and the things property dot h are the header files which you can get from your arduino cloud only let me show you that thing so when you open the sketch into the arduino iot cloud you just need to click on open in full editor and from here you can get all the files like this is the main code this is the things property dot h and this is the secrets dot h okay what you can do is you can just click on this three dot and click on download sketch and it will download all the files from the arduino cloud to your computer and you can include all those files here Years, okay, the secret dot h and things property dot h. These two are important header files. Otherwise, the code won't get compiled and won't get uploaded as well. Well, there's one more thing which may be different in your case, which is the IR remote data. Okay, so here I'm using the normal IR remote that comes for the RGB light control or maybe a radio control. So I have recorded the uh, data of that IR remote and we are providing that remote along with the purchase of this project as well. But in case if you're using the IR remote for maybe like a television or a radio or a setup box you need to change this code okay so i'll provide a sample code down in the description of this video which will help you to get the hexa uh, hexadecimal values of your ir remote and you can get that data and provide that data in main code and it will work with your remote as well okay so yeah that's pretty much it about this code now i will straight away uh, select the right board and com port which are already selected and hit the upload button so after uploading the code successfully the first thing i noticed is the device is showing online on the arduino dashboard Superb. So now let's install this project. So here I made the connection between our project and the appliances according to this connection diagram. Now let's test this in action. So here, as you can see, I can easily able to control the lights from the app. And not only that, I can also control the speed of the fan quite smoothly. Along with all this, I can also monitor the current temperature and humidity data of my studio. Now let's test with the IR remote. Okay, so as you can see, I can control all the appliances using the remote and also getting its real time feedback on the dashboard. 
and we can also control all those appliances with the help of manual switches and manual fan regulator as well and that too with real time feedback. Now let's turn off the router and see if it works without internet or not. Okay, so even without internet, we can control the appliances using IR remote and manual switches. So it got all the features that you will need in a home automation project. So yeah, Arduino Nano ESP32 is really capable of making some interesting IoT and automation based projects and this video was the proof of that. Now share your thoughts about this project and the board down in the comments of the video and also make sure you subscribe this channel for more such interesting projects in the field of IoT, electronics and automation and yeah, that being said, I am just ending this video here and now just wait for my next video until then explore, learn, share with me, Techie SMS.